Welcome back to Nationalist China, where we're back fighting the Japanese in Manchuria. So we will be continuing soon enough as I finish a few things. There we go. Now. Seems like the front is kind of stabilizing and our attacks aren't going too well. Uh, so I will actually just... I don't want them. Okay. Mm. I don't really want to keep attacking over here because it's not going too well. Uh, perhaps over here I can do something with this area if I can actually select my own guys that are here. There we go. That looks much better. Um, I, for some reason, I'm still attack. I'm guessing that these are the Germans and our allies. You know. Uh, okay. So we're lacking in aluminum for some reason. Uh, didn't even know that we were using aluminum for anything, but I don't know. So it seems like uh, this area is a little open, so we can uh, attempt to the enemy off. They will arrive in the next three hours, so I believe they will get there before my guys. Oh no, they were already retreating. So we will continue moving across. How long will they take to? A day and eight hours. Can I outrun them? Unfortunate. Only a day and uh, that is just very unfortunate. I was just about ready to outrun them, but I didn't manage to. So I'm able to outflank the enemy a little bit over here, which is nice. Looks like in Chendao, the situation is fairly stable, so nothing to be done there. There's actually two infantry divisions over here that aren't assigned to the army. I do believe that are these ones, and I will give them up like that, and we'll assign them to the front. There's two divisions that are actually not assigned. I need to find them. These two, they will be assigned. Now, I do believe I will continue moving my cavalry across through the north. This infantry division will be able to escape across the river. And get a little bit of help and time to recover. We've also got uh, this other infantry division that moved up, which is not exactly what I was looking for. I will move up more troops to help out my cavalry that have been uh, moving up faster than the rest of our, my, my troops. So I've actually got a lot of guys in, um, In communist territory, I don't really want that to happen. I want them in my land. And then we'll deselect this area as part of my front line. Doesn't look like anyone doesn't have orders. Uh, these guys don't. Oh, well, they're over there. Okay. So Minguko has capitulated, capitulated. Uh, Mao Zedong has announced that uh, the cowardly Minjiang nation could no longer withstand pressure from the overwhelming presence of Chinese forces throughout the country. The Minjiang government has chosen to flee the country rather than going into exile. Their main forces have capitulated and Zhonghua Tsui Gonghua Guo is now in control of their home area. Though the war continues elsewhere, this is a great victory. Okay, so this is essentially the uh, I'm sorry for the noises. Uh, this is essentially the um, Chinese, pu uh, rather Japanese puppet state over here that capitulated. Um, but since, of course, Japan still has troops in the uh, territory, uh, they will technically still exist for a little while until we uh, chase them out, rightfully, because we are great China.
Looks like help will be coming in for my troops over here. No other naval invasions happening. Which is good. I don't really want to get flanked in any way. Looks like I'm getting kind of halted over here by uh, that attack, and it might actually lose this uh, cavalry. Yeah, no, this cavalry division has to retreat. And these guys will stay in this province. So a little victory for the Japanese, that is unfortunate. Are all these guys attacking? It does look like it. Thankfully this one cavalry division will finally collapse in a little bit. And this other cavalry division also died, or rather retreated. So that's good. Um, I don't really see where I should continue the attack on. Perhaps these divisions should attack here. It's really hard to select guys over here. Uh, continue on over here. These two units will move here. This unit will move here. No, this attack will not work at all. And I'm not too much of a fan of these attacks as well. I will just hold a little bit and... I will delete the offensive order so that my guys don't... Um, don't unnecessarily attack. Though it looks like I've still got an offensive order. Uh, can I deactivate the plan? I'm not really sure why my infantry keep deciding to attack even though I cancelled the plan. I really want to know if I can deactivate it because I cancelled the offensive order so my troops should not be moving in the enemy territory. Anyways, I will remake my offensive order. It doesn't really make any sense that I can not... Okay, so that's how you deactivate plans. Okay, nice. So I will stop this attack because it doesn't really make any sense. The Soviets look like they're actually making their assault along with the Germans. But that will not really work out, so I will let them kind of kill themselves a little bit. Okay, excellent. So I've breached through here. I'll move in more troops. Though I will try to get the sort of lower strength ones to not advance and I will let them rest in my territory and defend the flanks. Even though I don't think we'll need that. Uh, yeah, pretty easily push up. So we've taken the province. I'm actually going to continue forward with a few of my troops. One division will uh, flank attack here.
couple more divisions will keep on the pressure here. Another division will attack down here, along with a few other divisions of mine. My cavalry here will attack here, and I've got two divisions left who will continue advancing. There's a lot of Japanese reinforcements approaching from Manchuria, but that was expected, expected, so no real issue there. I wonder how the navy looks. Um, we know too little about the region, so we don't know if the enemy has fleets around there. We actually have another light cruiser here. Because I would like to um, at least see what enemy troops are in Taiwan. I'm going to at least uh, try. I will go on uh, do not engage and I will patrol here. Because I just want to see how many troops uh, the enemy has on the island and it doesn't look like they have anything. Because, well, our light cruiser is over there. We have naval supremacy, so I do believe I can attempt to naval invade. Uh, right click. I can attempt to naval invade Taiwan. And uh, this infantry will be assigned to it. This is not a valid province for the invasion. Click to select the invasion source, right click to the invasion destination. This is not a valid province for the invasion. Why? Would that be valid? No. Would that be valid? No. Please mouse over the cursor over the area or any existing invasion plans. Why would it not be... Wait, what? I just pressed escape. It said, okay, I'll delete. Uh, it doesn't really tell me anything. Why wouldn't it be a valid province for a naval invasion? The desired coast province, that is a coast province. So. This is not a valid province for the invasion. Why? So construction effort, construction effort 3 is complete. I will go for armament effort. I don't truly understand why... Naval invasion capacity exceeded. Total limit 0. Oh, I get it. I really get it. Rip. Um, yeah. Uh, I... What? How? Why can I not... Why can I not delete the order now? Okay, this way. I need to go in my research and research transport ships because I don't have the one. Yep, I thought I had at least level one transports. Oh well. So I will actually move my light cruiser back in port. Um, what do you mean you cannot enter a province? This is a naval base. Okay. So are you returning to the naval base? Okay, good. Interface problems are great. Hmm. Enemy has air superiority. What about here? Okay. But here in Manchuria, we don't really know. And the Japanese aren't really doing much in terms of aircraft, thankfully. Because I feel like if they actually did, then I'd be in trouble. Um, doesn't really look like I will be able to do much uh, with my airplanes around here. Um, I'll try to get my tactical bombers in. Uh, 
Manchuria, do they have the range though? Uh, up here so, mission efficiency is 60%, so I don't see any problems. So our troops continue to advance, and that's good. Unfortunately, these two provinces seem to be fairly sturdy in holding out. Now, I will make a bit of a push up here to hopefully distract some of these 10 divisions. Make it a little easier for my troops in the south. So as my general planning. Yes, uh, we are getting plenty of us. What? I don't... Oh, um... Well, I don't like that. Yes, that is the front line I want. No! You motherfucker! Delete that, please. Okay. This is kind of annoying sometimes to use. I want it like this, and not anything else. And I will redirect my offensive line like this. There we go. That should be enough. I will let my troops mostly rest now. Down here, what about the planning bonus? We, our planning bonus is complete down here. And the Je Japanese are doing some pretty good damage to us, but we're still kind of fine. Now we have 25 divisions against their... Uh, looks like 9 plus 15-ish divisions. I don't think that will be enough for an attack. However, I don't really have any reserves. I'll maybe pull some troops from Nanjin here into this army and I will assign them to this front. And hopefully I'll be able to uh, get a good offensive down here going in Shandong. I can reform my government, so that's good. Uh, don't really see any point in changing anything else. Uh, compassionate gentleman is not really that great. Now, military high command, division recovery rate might be interesting. Army logistics could also be a good idea. Uh, evil experience. Old Guard for political power would be nice. Other than that, I would just have to go ship designer. Because um, right now I really want to get... Uh, infantry equipment could also be good, but... Infantry doesn't really... Uh, doesn't really have that much. We're not that far behind, so it's not the biggest priority to get good infantry research. I would go for uh, the Jiannan shipyard. So I will have a little bit more naval research. As you can see, I am already a little bit ahead on the carrier. I've got about two months until carrier one is available. I will also, soon enough, after I'm finished with the armament efforts over here, I will go for a naval effort, which will give me free naval dockyards in Shanghai. And I will go for the large navy and capital ship effort to increase my research of capital ships, of course. So the Soviets are attacking here, and it's not really working out. Looks like the Japanese have an armor division here? Uh, okay. I don't really see it. I'm guessing it's the cavalry. It's got tanks in it.
we do have a bit of an equipment shortage that we have to uh, address, but not really right now. In terms of insufficient resources, perhaps uh, trading for some aluminum might be a good idea with the United States, maybe? Or maybe Hungary or the Soviet Union would actually be uh, excellent for that. So we will gain back our aluminum uh, that we need for what? Uh, I'm guessing support equipment? Yeah, for support equipment. Now, the Japanese have brought up a lot of reinforcements over here. The plan is considered to be risky. Well, I don't give a shit about that. I'll wait for my units to be a little bit more... Um, topped off in terms of equipment, and then I will uh, proceed with the attack. Down here though, it looks like I can actually attack right now, so I will attack. It's going pretty well so far, 84% uh, to this hill province. Uh, this other province that has a lot more enemy divisions in it uh, will of course last a lot, lot longer than that. We have 6 divisions against 6 plus a few, and over here we have, ooh, they're all reserves. So this, is, this will take a while to actually finish, which is a bit of a problem. Up here I do see some fairly undefended provinces. Mm. I don't really like that plan, but I will have to deal with it. Uh, looks like the... Our allies also have their own little plan up here. They're still fighting up here in uh, Mingjiang or Menguko, if you prefer. Infantry offensive is researched, which is really nice. It's gonna help us uh, continue the offensives with our infantry, of course. Now, large front offensive will give us plus 10 organization to infantry and motorized and mechanized, and more organization to tanks as well. So, really important to get that one going as soon as possible. After my, either my carrier or my recon is finished, probably my carrier, I will go for the um, transport ships. How much longer will this one take? Another 24 days. That's quite a while. Ooh! Naval invasion. Where? What? There are enemy naval invasions in Fujian. Where's Fujian? It's here. Okay. It's Fuzhou. We're trying to bring in a single infantry division and it's really not working out. Okay. So I should not be too scared about that. So the Japanese have repelled our attack and are now counterattacking actually in Shindao. But it's not really working for them. In the north, I don't like my chances altogether. Terrain isn't exactly favorable as well. I do believe I'm also out of time, so I will stop the episode and I will see you in the next one.